Timotheus Rishon, 1 Timothy 3. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of an elder, he desires a good work. An elder then must be blameless, the man of one woman, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that rules well his own house, having his children in subjection, with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the called out assembly of Yahuwah? Not a novice, lest, being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy of filthy lucre, holding the mystery of the belief in a pure conscience. And let these also first be proved, then let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Even so must their women be grave, not slanderers, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the men of one woman, ruling their children and their own houses well. For they that have used the office of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the belief which is in Yahusha HaMashiach. These things write I unto you, hoping to come unto you shortly. But if I tarry long, that you may know how you ought to behave yourself in the house of Yahuwah which is the called-out assembly of the living Yah, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of righteousness. Yahuwah was manifest in the flesh, righteous in the Ruach, seen of angels, preached unto the other nations, believed on in the world, received up into glory.